Hello and welcome to Ewan Method Talk Radio. We're broadcasting live from West Hills, California. In a moment, you will experience unique insights and one-of-a-kind perspective from Shaolin Grandmaster, Dr. Cam Ewan. Dr. Cam Ewan, DC, has worked with patients for over 30 years and has been the world's foremost expert and leading Grandmaster of Shaolin Kung Fu for nearly half a century. He's a well-known author and martial artist, frequently appearing on the covers of different martial arts magazines. He was also the technical and Kung Fu advisor on the original Kung Fu TV series, and thus was instrumental in bringing authentic Kung Fu to the international audience. To talk to Dr. Ewan, please call in now, or visit our website. The guest call-in number is 646-478-3782. You can ask us a question anytime on our website. You will also find out about our exciting upcoming live events on our website. To ask Dr. Ewan a question, please visit ewanmethod.com forward slash ask. That's ewanmethod.com forward slash A-S-K. Now, here he is, live on the air, Dr. Cam Ewan. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to another uh, video show. And it's great to have you, so it's great to have you come in and be part of it. And uh, tonight, we're going to talk about PTSD, that's post-traumatic stress disorder. So that's a lot of words been uh, written about it and a lot of uh, concern about it. And of course, that we want to also involve with pain. So when you have a lot of pain, that could come from the post-traumatic stress uh, disorder. So when you experience a lot of those experiences, then you have pain, and you have pain in your body, you have pain in your mind, and also pain in your spirit. So pain doesn't just happen when you injure yourself, or, well, of course you know that you can have pain just from the illness that, uh, that you're struggling with, and, and no one should be struggling with the illness or the injuries. And of course, we want to get into the word stress itself, right? So we want to tear that apart. There's no reason why anyone not know what's going on in their life and, and use the word to, just to describe and give them some kind of uh, um, certainty about they may know what's going on. So that word stress is used in such a way it really doesn't uh, benefit anybody, actually. So uh, anxiety. So Anxiety is kind of like stress. Anxiety is more coming from the individual, where stress could be coming from outside the physical surrounding of the person. So, so we're going to deal with all that. We're going to take callers, and uh, this radio program is great because we want to do it live and not just talking about it and you listening and get bored with what I'm saying to you, right? So. And um, you want to ensure that uh, there's not going to be any panics in your life that you can't handle and or anxiety attack, so to speak. And um, so you you will just attack back to the anxiety, right? So you want to be strong to things in your life. So things weaken you, it could be pleasant things that weakens you. So when love weakens you, then love would give you anxiety, right? So, so don't say love solves everything, right? So a lot of... People talk like that, a bunch of clowns talking like that. I love Count all, and, and it, it could do you in, right? So uh, I'm not saying that you're not going to have any love, but I'm just saying that don't depend on love for everything, right? So, and you could strengthen love so love will not come back and bite you in the butt, right? So, and, um, and that would be a, a good place for you to be. You want to take charge of your life. Right? You don't want love to take charge of you. You want to take charge of love, right? And, and you want to be expert with yourself about love and other people, you know, expert with other people's love. So you give them advice, right? You're not going to give them advice that doesn't fit in and it's just your opinion, right? You want to give advice coming from your insight, getting to the right answer or the real answer to actually change their situation. So that's what this program is all about. It just show you not so much what I could do, what any everyone could be doing. So that's the important thing that we human kind of 
go to that level that we could take care of ourselves and be in charge and be an expert and have mastery of your life and circumstances in your life. So I'm going to take a caller now. So so I stop boring you from talking. Okay. So I take a caller. Five six one. Five six one. You're on. Hello. Hi. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Perfectly. Hi. Okay. Uh, I I I have anxiety, which comes in and out with no reason, and I I mean I can't even wait. Um. Okay, so and, and you, you think you have anxiety mind. right now? You have a question about having anxiety in your life, right? Yes. So yes. Th that's what you have to say. So we're going to start that um, as a baseline. We want to simplify it. It's not like I don't want to hear your story. The, the thing is that when people hear okay. your story like a therapist, it actually you know, generates a confusion for you, and the therapist is definitely confused, and that's the reason why they don't resolve your anxiety okay so so right now you could think about your anxious moments right and anxiety experiences right and and it troubles you right yes okay now let's look at that situation it's really your own misinterpretation of what you have and if you misinterpret what you have you don't know what you have you think by saying you have anxiety that you know well anxiety doesn't really tell you anything in fact it confuse you even more so let's remove that, right? So your misinterpretation. Yes. The whole world is misinterpreting each other, misinterpret themselves. So let's let's remove that. Let's delete it from your internal computer. I'm going to ask you again. When you think about your anxiety moments and experiences. Does it still have an effect on you as before? I see the difference. You feel the difference, right? Yes. Okay. Well, that's what you want. So you always want to compare before and after that you know exactly what you have. You could do it consciously, you could do it non-consciously. So you want to get to the level you're just going to do it non-consciously. That your perception yes. would be so fast you just did it without knowing you did it, right? So it's just like driving to a neighborhood or a new neighborhood or you think a new neighborhood. Then you actually compare your previous experience with, with the experience you were experiencing. And then if you compare, then you know exactly what you had, okay? So you, you're you pretty good right now? You're pretty good about your anxiety right now? Um, it, it feels different, but I... Uh, you're calmer now, right? I still... Okay. I feel lighter. Well, that's but good. I, uh, I, still feel, I still feel anxiety. Usually when, when I think about See, the thing it, is that you think... <laughs> See, you think that in the future you can have anxiety. So let's delete what you connect with. You're going to expect anxiety in the future, right? In the past, you constantly anticipate or expect anxiety you're going to have in the future. So let's delete that, okay? Let's delete your past experiences so your future experience have nothing to connect with in the, from the past, okay? Now think about your anxiety again into the future now. What does that seem like? Good. See, I don't have any anxiety in the future, you know. It's ridiculous to even have it, right? So anyone telling you that you have to have it and the human being have to have anxiety, well, you know, they don't know what they're talking about, okay? That's, that's like an insult to the whole human race, right? The human potential. Yes. Okay, so thanks for calling in. So keep in touch. Thank you. All right, do I have another caller? Yes, 818. 818, so that's kind of in my neighborhood, 818. So, okay, what can I do for Hi. you? Can Hi. You Hi. Hi, Dr. Yuan. Um, I have a question about my foot pain because of my broken ankle. Okay, well, obviously that gives you anxiety, right? That's what? That would give you anxiety, right? Um, more pain and lack of sleep. Okay, well, it give you anxiety. In fact, your first weakness is anxiety. Okay, so if your anxiety give you pain, your pain give you anxiety. Okay, so so let's resolve both experiences that you have. That these are just experiences that you don't have to be controlled by them. 
you you want to be able to uh, actually uh, be able to totally take charge of it right now. So I just did that for you. Now, how's your ankle seem like to you? It still kind of tingles with the, the nerves. Yeah, but compared before, the it's the same or different. It's better. It's still there, but okay, so it. It's better. Now, we're just going to push you further, right? So we constantly have to push the emerald till you fall off the edge of the cliff, right? Till then nothing bothers you, okay? So now, look at that situation. Uh, you have past experiences when you were injured. You didn't get better too quickly, okay? So that's, that's a collective experience, right? So you may have collective experience that, you know, you injure yourself, you need months to be healed, or you never get better or you never heal so let's get healing out of the uh, your your life experience okay now now how's the ankle now so don't think about it think about your whole body just don't think about just your ankle okay whole body um compared before better, huh? but it still feels heavy better but it still well heavy. the heaviness is that you know that is heavy because your the rest of your body is not so much is light, but your rest of the body is just relaxing too much and make that part of your body tense more than it ought to be tensing, okay? So let's even out okay. your whole body's tension to be the same throughout your body, okay? So we just did it. Now, how's the heaviness in your foot? It's a little better, yeah. Okay. See, when you say a little bit... That means you really want to remove some kind of criticism that you have, okay? So either coming from you okay. or people criticism towards you or in your particular case, when people criticize you, it kind of ruins your day, right? Happened all my life. Yeah, well, that's why it shows up. You want to get rid of it before you end this call, right? So, yes, please. So criticism bothers you, right? Yes. And once you establish a baseline, and you actually tell me that's what you want to improve, right? Otherwise, I just give you my opinion, which is not going to go too far, right? So now, so we just did it, right? Only take about a second or so, right? A middle second, right? Why do people have to suffer through their life over, over things that they, they should know how to resolve, okay? Now, how about now? How's criticism now? It feels better. Right. Criticism so, is better. I, I, it's moved and, and I feel it in different places now. Well, you know, you, you just need a longer session. So I just want you to know that you could improve and we could meet again some other time because I have other callers, right? So you could actually... Dr. thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for calling. So keep in touch. Just by staying on this call, you improve and other people improve, okay? That's a blessing. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Now, so it's all about deleting anxiety on the spot, right? Anxiety is an illusion, and we accept it as a real thing, and that's what gets us in trouble. People use anxiety when they don't know what's going on. So by using that word anxiety, they, they think anxiety is what's telling them what's going on. Well, it doesn't tell anything, okay? So, all right. Let me get another caller. 918. 918. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, my name's Karen. Hi, Karen. Sometimes my heart races and beats so fast that it makes me feel like I'm going to die and it feels real fearful. Okay. So is it kind of fast now that you could actually sense it? Or? No. Okay. But you have experience no. having it. When you have experience having it, it bothers you, right? Yes, it's usually at night. Okay. For some reason. All right, so when you think about your experience having it at night, it, it kind of double bothers you, right? It bothers you twice, right? Right. Right, so it no, bothers no. you. So when you establish that baseline and it bothers you, then I have to follow my insight, uh, connecting with you, allow you telepathically let me know what's going on right so what's going on is um, 
It's not so much at night, but it's, it's really on a horizontal position that bothers you more than being at night. Some people could have a weakness uh, that bothers them by the night, but in your particular case, it's really the horizontal position bothers you more than the night. So let's resolve that, okay? So when you're on a horizontal okay. position, you think you're in the ambulance uh, going to um, ER, right? So let's get rid of that stupid experience, right? Okay. Okay, now think about your experience at night now. Your heart's racing uh, before. Now, does it still affect you the same way? Uh, Is it the same or different? No. Well, that's what you want. You want to... You want to have something different. In fact, you want everything different, right? You don't want the previous things that kind of put a limitation on your life that you won't be in charge of your life, right? So every human being should be in charge of their life. But I think I hire an expert to tell them what could be a problem with their health, with their life, or whatever, right? But you don't want anybody to take charge of your, you know, your well-being or, or direction you want to go with your life, okay? Right. I thought it was my thyroid messing up. Well, you, you know, so when you think about the thyroid, it already bothers you, right? Mm -hmm. Right? When you think yes. about the thyroid, it bothers you, right? Yes? yes. So it's not really about yes. the thyroid, it bothers you. It's the mistake or misdiagnosis about the thyroid or the untruth of you know, pointing at the thyroid when it's not your thyroid problem, okay? Okay, so now let's remove that, okay? Now, you think about your thyroid, does it still have an effect on you? Um, Compared before? Yes. It still bothers you, right? Yes. Okay, so when you say it still bothers you, then we have to look at more things from the outside or more or something from the inside. So it's really from your inside. So your insight is your perception, so let's improve that, right? Your perception always could use more improvement. Your intuition is good. Your insight could be better, and your telepathic communication could be better with yourself, and, um, and also your awareness and your thinking, okay? Now, does your thyroid, thinking about your thyroid, still have an effect on you? Okay. Uh Better. Okay, good. So that's how you get better, right? So even if it's a thyroid problem, you are stronger than your thyroid problem, and then your thyroid would get normalized, right? It sounds silly yeah. when I say that, but that's that's like a very basic kindergarten truth, right? Right. Okay, so you're, you're, you're calmer now, right? You're more right. calmer about your life situation, and that's important for everybody, okay? So yeah. so I do have events that you could come to my uh, method.com website, and uh, I really want to uh, people get into it. If they really want to get into it, be a consultant to others. So my next clinic will be talk about relationship. That would be in September. So we also have modules um, of learning the full um, course of uh, dealing with relationships and less aging and finances. When you do that, you, you become the expert. You take charge of it, of yourself, and you take charge of other people in a nice way because you're going to actually direct them to take charge of themselves. You don't want to take charge of them and they have to follow you and uh, they become your follower, right? So that's not a good thing. So a lot of healthcare professionals, what they do is they make their patient depend on them and it's, it's not a good thing that's kind of like a karma that they created with that patient so they may have some you know initial advantage to have more patients and have patients keep on coming back the best thing you do is actually improve your patient give rid of your patient and if they want to bring their family members in to to the situation and improve their family members improve their friends and co-workers and uh, and they're pets too. So there's always something to improve. So if you look at the whole picture this way, your healthcare professional not going to make people come back just for the sake of coming back. They improve your your own economy, which is that's not a good thing, right? That's like a karma, right? So anyway, so PTSD, you you want to get rid of that, right? PTSD. So just share this 
with everyone that you meet, I would take the challenge that I would delete PTSD on the spot. All right, and we could delete that without those people with PTSD, um, you know, having the symptoms. Right, a lot of time when they have a severe symptom, they actually could use their family members to improve their symptom without telling them. Okay, because if they have those symptoms, they have too much distraction, and it's difficult for them to follow uh, with their own perception, and, and they'd be questioning so much because they, they've been living their life without any answers to any of their questions. So, and we have to stabilize them, so PTSD will have no effect on them, right? So all the symptoms of PTSD, those are very simple things to pretty much strengthen the person for and delete the effects of it, okay? So, all right, do we have a person with severe stress and pain, anxiety, or PTSD? So, do we have anybody? Lots of callers here. Okay, I will take another caller. 718. Okay, 718. That's like New York City, Brooklyn, or Queens. Okay, Hi. I'm here for you. Great. Um, I have. I feel like I've been swimming a lot of ways, but there is uh, have uh, some pain, nerve pain, and a, a sense of like a tangling, twisting kind of thing going on energetically all over my body, kind of all the time. Okay, so you have uh, pain throughout your thing. whole body, right? Is that what you're saying? And especially in the jaw, the teeth, the neck, and okay. elbows. Okay. All right. So we're just going to make your whole body even to pain, right? And then we will specifically yeah. look at your mouth and jaw. Okay, so let's ensure that right. whatever pain you have, you share with the rest of your body, right? So, and it, and that's a good thing, <laughs> right? It's just like you have money, you want to share with everyone instead of just keep it to yourself, <laughs> right? So it's just an energy there, right? So now I did that. Now how should jaw sensation seem to you compared to before? I feel a little loosening there. Okay, now your jaw is not as strong or be, uh, as, as it ought to be because you already got strengthened. But every time you sit down, you refer the sitting down weakness to your mouth and jaw and face. Okay, so let's ensure that you're not going to do that. You can be so strong that you okay. can be stronger than the chair you sit on, right? Otherwise, the chair is stronger than, yeah. than us, right? So, which is not a good thing, right? So, th there's some recent. Yeah. Articles written about sitting it's a problem for people. Yeah, I, I said that 25 years ago, and people chuckle when I said that. Well, you know, I said you sit down too much, and, and it's bad for you because sitting creates yeah, stagnation, I, 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 right? I I yeah, so it's actually better to be standing. Well, I don't mean that. You, you could sit, but you have to tense your behind, okay? So just tense it and let go of okay. the tension, right? So basic action, mm -hmm. we as human have forgot how to do it, right? You have to tense and untense, just like your heart, right? Uh, Nothing right, difficult right, about that. Right. We're just not used to doing that anymore because other living creatures, they tense and untense. That's why they don't have to go to the gym, right? Gotcha. Uh -huh. And when they go to the gym, well, they don't go to the gym, but when they do something physical, they're ready to do it, right? <laughs> Long, right? <laughs> but you, you want your body to tense and untense just like your heart. Your heart does, does that all day long, right? You'll be complaining when it doesn't, right? Right, right. So just follow your heart, right? No one no one do that, right? They say, I follow my heart. Well, they, they don't know what they're talking about, right? So, okay, so thank you for calling in and, and keep listening, all right? So you will get the improvement when other people improve, okay? So okay. you're better now, right? A you, little better. You are better, right? I know we shouldn't say little. <laughs> see, when you say little, in your case, it's judgment, okay? Yeah, okay. So for you, That's right. That's see, right. it's like New York City, you know, there's a lot of Catholic influences there, okay? So they're talking about judgment day is what bothers you, okay? So now we delete that from you, okay? Oh, thank you. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. So when you follow your perception and, and kick in your intuition, and you want to make sure you have that insight when you want your insight, right? You're not going to walk down the street and have insight, okay? That would be wasting your time, right? 
you could have insight about everything around you, well, only when you want it, okay? So you are in charge, right? Don't say, oh, other people's energy bought the heck out of me. Well, you know what? That's a craziness that they don't have to have, right? So you want to be strong in the situation, you delete the effects of it, you are in charge, you become an expert with yourself, and you can gain mastery with yourself, and, and you only listen to yourself, or talk to yourself telepathically, okay? So you're not going to sit there verbalizing your you know, talking to yourself, okay? So so when people have PTSD, they don't really have a life, right? So with PTSD, is it stop things from moving forward, and it weakens the person, so it weakens them to, to make them out of sync, then it's easier for them to age, right? You have PTSD, it would just age the per person. So when you come to the class that I show you how to have less aging and how to handle your time in your life, it, it will remove your PTSD. All of you will remove the PTSD so you will age less, okay? So I will take another caller. 250. Okay, 250, you're on. Hi, um, I wanted to ask you about, I, I tire very easily and I overwhelm easily. Okay. And I, I was in a couple of pretty serious at car accidents many years ago, and I, I, my back is just is always tight and and uh, in pain. Okay, so let's talk about your your pain situation first. Okay, so you have some okay. discomfort there in the back, right? Yes. Okay, so you have discomfort in the back because you again, uh, I've spoken about the body has to be even with each other. So the weakness is really in the front of your body, not in the back of your body. Okay, so people think that where the pain comes from is where you have the problem, or it comes from other places of your body, the weakness, so you have to address those weakness and strengthen the rest of your body. Now, how's the uh, back pain seem to you now compared to before? It feels uh, less in the lower back. It's still quite tight in the thoracic and neck okay. area. Okay, so that's, that's a change there, right? now. So if you want the thoracic area to be better, then your chest and, and your breast have to be stronger. So we just strengthen that area for you, and also inside your chest cavity and your lungs too, okay? So those are the weaknesses refer to your thoracic area. Okay, so since we strengthen that, now what does that seem like to you, your mid-back or upper back? That really feels like uh, my upper thoracic is opened up. Okay, good, so now you could, perceive those changes, that means you can handle your own life situation, right? If you can't perceive anything and, and spend all the time like other people, right, complain, all they do is complain about their pain, and, and they're not perceiving what's going on, they cannot even go in a direction to connect with their own intuition and have the insight to resolve it, right? So when the insight and telepathic communication, your awareness and, and your balanced thinking, uh, that would resolve, you know, what avails you, okay? So now you say you're tired because when you have problem or when you have pain, the tendency, the natural tendency is just try to relax yourself out of the situation. And over relaxing is the problem. So the previous caller, I, I told the person that they should tense their body more often, right? So it's about tensing and you want your body to tense the same rhythm as your heart, okay? I know no one will ever tell you that unless they heard it from me, right? So I'm the first person saying that, okay? And I've been around for a long time and never heard from anybody else, okay? So no, I've never heard that. No, okay. Right? I'll be telling you from my own experience bringing improvement for others, right? So I'm just sharing uh, the, the protocol, not some of the protocol, the approach to, to really resolving all the human ailments that we're not going to, take it anymore that, you know, all our resource is dealing with people's problems, right? We should just delete all the problems that you delete problems from a computer or delete, uh, I mean, use a computer to uh, give you a solution about everything in your life, right? So that's nothing wrong with that, right? No. So the other way is hocus pocus, okay? So a lot of people think that if I get results this quickly, I could do all the phone. What I'm doing is hocus pocus. Well, you know what? If enough for us experience how to improve this way, then we're not going to listen to the other people try to twist things around, right? 
So share with others. Thank you for calling. We want more people to be part of this type of improvement, okay, life improvement. All right, thank you for calling. So keep in touch. The more you're in touch with this program or what I do in my, on my website and my modules that I teach uh, more in detail on my clinic that we could spend more time together, you will make improvements. So the clinic is not just for you personally. It's for every member of your family, including your cats and dogs and horses if you have them, okay? All right, I will take uh, another caller. 818. 818. Hi, everyone. That person, I may have taken that person already because 818, uh, that's in my neighborhood. So, 811. 811, are you there? Hello? Hi. I hear you. So, t tell me what's going on. I hear you now. So, hi, how are you? Doctor? I'm good. I'm always good. So, I'm so. A big, you know, I mean, not That's knowing what's going on. Okay, so tell me what's yes, going on. I got a concern. Yes, I got a concern about a pain in the area between my hips. Between your what? My hips. Oh, your hips. So is it, it's in the back or the front? Uh, the back. Okay, so how long you have that? The pain, I feel it's more on the right side. Okay, so you had that for a while? I've had it for a while. Okay, so you have it now too, right? I mean, you also have it at this moment, right? Yes. Okay, so people would call that a chronic pain you have for a while, and making all kinds of excuses that you have to understand pain. You don't have to understand anything. You just have to experience how to get rid of it. So now, so you have it there. I would say your first weakness has come from your left shoulder and then your left arm. And, um, and your left forearm. Okay, so we strengthen those weaknesses, refer the weakness to your hip, and then it also comes from your left foot and your left leg. Okay, so and, and that's the result of having grief in your life. So we're just gonna delete all the grief, so you don't gonna be stressed out by by that or or getting PD, uh, PTSD from that. Okay, so I just done that. Now I would ask you the question again. Compared before, it's the same or different? It is different. Okay, so that's an improvement, I, I right? More, I still feel the pain, but it, it, I cannot move to the center of the back. Uh, you said you cannot move. Oh, you mean the pain moves to the center of your back? No, it moves. The pain moves. See, the thing is that... Then it moves to the center of the back. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what uh, I try to find out from you. Uh, see, the pain don't move. See, the, the thing is that you have that pain. When that pain disappears, then you have, your second pain becomes your first pain. All right? So you have more than one pain. It's just that the first pain took all your attention. So now you have the middle of your your back. It's, it's kind of pretty much on your spine, right? Yes. Okay. So we will look at that, and, and you're talking about the lumbar region, but it really comes from the front of your thoracic region, okay? So we will just strengthen the weakness there. You also want to strengthen the weakness in your cervical, in the back of your cervical, and also your forehead, and your lips, and your nose, okay? Those are the things that refer the weakness to your lumbar spine, okay? All right, so I just strengthen those weaknesses that I perceive. I would re-ask you the question, or ask you the question again. Now, compared before, it's the same or different? It's different. Okay. What was that? Is it, it changed. So, is it gone? Yes. Okay, that's good. So, it's what you have to do is, is really tense your chest and tense your lower back, so that way you have structural uh, support. Right? If you don't tense it, see, when people have pain, the tendency, the natural inclination is just relax yourself to that pain or try to numb yourself to the pain, and it doesn't go anywhere. In fact, make it uh, continue to be in your body, okay? So so thank you for calling in, all right? So uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. So I just want the listener to know that the pain 
could be totally deleted by yourself. I'm just directing you till you get acclimated to do it for yourself, your family, your friends, your, your dogs and cats, okay? So, so PTSD, that's what we're going to talk about. I'm going to talk about pain. We're going to talk about stress, anxiety. So that's what people think they have in their life. Now it's time for you to delete them out, okay? Wipe them out, so to speak. I, you don't want to be having any effect in your life by those things, okay? So let me take another call and see if I could assist that caller to resolve their problem, okay? 860. 860. Hello? Oh, hi. Yeah, hi. Um, I'm, uh, excuse me, excuse me. I'm feeling very discouraged and depressed over my life circumstances. Okay, so let's look at that situation, right? No one deserves to have that, right? Including you, right? So I don't mean to chuckle on it, but I'm just saying that, um, you know, you know that, you know, other things come up and affect you, like PTSD could weaken your finances. You already talk about the age issue. So your discouragement, see, in your particular case, is uniquely to you, okay? So, and there are times that we do talk about you know, ancestor spirit and karma. So you have ancestor karma of discouraging other people, so you have to resolve for your ancestors. Once you identify it's come from your ancestor, you have to strengthen the situation or turn on the computer for your ancestor and delete the effects of it from your ancestors. So they don't have a karma that they project to you. And also you want the people who uh, experiences uh, the karma from your ancestors, they're okay with it. So we want to strengthen them and delete the effects of that. And, um, and and there's also a misinterpretation. See, if, if you're not into your insight and and dependent more on your intuition, insight, um, and, um, and telepathic communication with yourself, then, then it's hard for you to resolve your own life situation. So let's put that in there. And continue to reinforce that, okay? Now think about your life situation again. How's your discouragement? I feel the same. Okay, that's fine. You can say it's the same. Then you look at why it's the same, okay? Now you don't feel the same to me, but you say that, I'm not here to argue with you, okay? Now it's the same because you're surrounded by the same energy that you that you kind of project out in a place where you sleep, a place where you uh, live and even place that where you work and the places where you went to school. Okay, so let's dissipate all that. So that's pretty much a lifetime thing. Okay, so again, I will look at your perception and your intuition. That's kind of off, and also look at um, your insight is good now, and your awareness is off. Okay, so the awareness is a physical, mental and spiritual awareness. So let's make all three of them strong for you, okay? All right, now think about your life situation again. Are you just as discouraged as before? No. Okay, well that's a good sign, right? That's a good start, right? Yeah. So this is not... I don't think, yeah, I don't think I feel anything about it right now. Well, that's good. Now let's look at your future. See, let's, let's make sure you're strong for your future, because in the past, every time you think about your future, it weakens you so much that you don't even want to go there, but you, you know that future would, would connect with you, right, whether you want to go there or not, right? So now, is that better? You're more yeah. confident yeah. now? So you're more confident no. now, right? I'm more confident. I feel indifferent. Well, you, you feel neutral that you don't try to be positive, that those foods try to tell you just be positive, right? Or try to overcome your negative, work through your negative. Well, they forget about the neutrons in your body, right? It's not just the protons and electrons, right? So when you feel weakness in your neutrality, you have to strengthen that neutrality. So it's not so much indifferent that, you know, it's a, it's a negative thing, but it's not, okay? That you're not bothered by anything, okay. right? If you are in charge, if you are in charge, you're not bothered by anything, right? And that will give you time to be an expert with yourself. When you have an expert with yourself, you're going to be strong with all your purpose. So we have a program that people talk about their purpose. 
and they think they're looking for that one purpose from some of their, you know, teachers, right? Those are not teachers. Those are giving wrong information that you're looking for that one purpose in your life with passion. You know, you want to, you want everything you do to be strong for a purpose, okay? You wake up in the morning is your purpose, right? That has to be strong for you, all right? So thank you for calling. All right, so relationship problems and financial problems uh, that leads to physical pain in your body, right? So it's not just like, oh, you have to injure yourself before you have physical pain. It's not about understanding pain, right? There's a whole magazine on Time Magazine and how to understand pain. Right? You understand it doesn't mean you could resolve it, right? And your understanding is it, it not even uh, understanding that whole bunch of information about pain, but then you don't know what to do with it. You don't even know it's, it's right or not, you know? So it's not about having a thorough understanding about pain. You're going to resolve the pain. In fact, you kick the understanding out of the way because understanding comes from your mind. Your mind is just going to sabotage you. You want to improve your, um, you know, brain, your physical intelligence. That would take care of your body for you, okay? From my experience, right? So I have long history of experiences, and I have treated thousands and hundreds of thousands of patients professionally, okay? So, all right. Do we have another caller? Yep, 678. 678, I'm ready for you. Hi, Doc. Hi. I had a lot of uh, trauma around the time of my birth, a lot of surgery directly after my birth for a number of uh, days. Okay. And I'm feeling like it probably affects my life. Okay, so you still think what happened to you at, at, at your birthday uh, have effect on you still, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so let's look at that. So I'm asking you that question just to establish the baseline, right? So in a way, it is, but you actually resolved it, right? So you may have resolved it, um, you know, by try and error or by accident, right? So it got resolved, but it's really a misinterpretation that you still have this problem is what troubles you, okay? Because I feel the weakening effect of that, okay? So I would improve your perception and, and your insight. Those are somewhat off because I feel weakness there, and also your thinking. So your thinking as far as your physical, uh, spiritual, and, and mental thinking they have to be uh, strong. That try had to be strong for you, okay? Now, when you think about your situation again, that your birthday situation of trauma, you still have an, an effect on you as before? It feels different. Okay. It's like you're more in charge now? Yes. Okay. So you're not sure about you're in charge now because in the past, you always think about the future. You're always going to have this problem. So let's delete your past, not so much your future. Right? So delete the past. So your past is so strong with that, those experiences of misinterpretation or or you argue with yourself, that must be the right thing. See, if you got to the right answer, it resolved your problem, right? And obviously, it resolved the problem of you got traumatized at birth, and you just have other problems that you didn't really recognize, and you think it's the same problem. So now, when you think about your future now, and think about what future you're going to have with yourself now, what's that seem like now? Uh, I feel a lot more confident until like, something opens up. That's right. You want to be confident, right? As human beings, we deserve to have confidence, right? And you don't have to train five years in, in, in martial art and kung fu karate to have that, right? So you have it the next few seconds, right? And you could put that into other people that are not even part of this talk, okay? So, and we could all do this, okay? I, I'm just have so much years under my belt that I'm doing it ahead of you. That's all, okay? So we all could do this. It's time for a whole human race to claim it, okay? Not saying, ah, I don't know what's going on. Well, if you know what's going on, you resolve the problem. Knowing what's going on, resolve the problem. So it's not just about knowing. That knowing has to be applied. If you don't, you think you know it, but you couldn't apply it, then you really don't know it, right? So it's really about about the application that leads to result, then 
you have a complete knowing, right? Only otherwise you have a partial knowing, right? No sense of just knowing the information. And if that information is not the right information, it doesn't resolve anything for you. Okay. So thank you for calling, and I appreciate people for for calling. Thank you. So. Uh, you now stay uh, connected, right? So improve your life, and this is the only way to improve your life, right? And I find so many other ways people try to improve their life. You know, it's very difficult when you don't have that whole picture of how to do it, okay? And uh, that's about getting into your feeling and ensure your feeling is not confused by your emotions and your thinking. You know, you, you don't want to be hearing people tell you to to be more mindful and think better. You know, that, you know, get your thinking out of the way. And, and you should only think about one second or so. And of course, you're not going to rely on emotional intelligence. There's no such thing, okay? So these people telling you about emotional intelligence that actually leave everybody in the wrong direction because it doesn't solve anything for anybody. So this is the method I'm going to claim that on the spot, we want you to be directed and know it to resolve your life situation or your life problems for yourself, for your family, and for your friends, okay? And if you want to be a professional consultant, then we have to spend more time together. If not, just by listening in, you will make improvement or move in a direction or make an improvement, okay? So let me take another caller. 781. 781, you're on. This is 781. Hi. Hi. I think a lot, and I keep feeling like I'm overthinking okay. all the time. Okay. Well, that's, that's, that that's a common about. thing, right? If you don't meet me, you always be thinking for the rest of your life, right? So, and it, it, it's not that difficult to resolve it. It's not using your discipline to stop yourself from thinking, right? So, you're not going to listen to these people tell you, Oh, just stop, right? No. So you still see the base see the baseline is that the fact that you're thinking and it kind of bothers you that you're constantly thinking, right? It bothers you, right? See if it bothers you, what bothers you, you will have more of it, okay? And that's not what I made up, okay? So from my experience of hundreds of thousands of patients and what bothers them, what is thinking or other things in their life, they would attract more of that. They would intensify that, it would make that stronger. Okay, so so it bothers you to think, right? So, see, in a way, thinking it bothers you. Did you think about it? It bothers you. But that's like one, two, three, four, five, six. It's like six on your scale of many things, right? So it's not number one. Okay, so that's what I meant. Okay, so I'm just going to delete. The effects of the five things on top of thinking, okay? You have five other things that bother you. So we're not going to name them unless we want to, okay? So we're just going to delete everything that bothers you, in, including thinking, right? Thinking is number six. So let's, of course, you have other thinking after that. I mean, other things that bother you after that. If you don't specify what they are, you could resolve them all, okay? But don't be specific, like the common, uh, description don't be so anal about it right and then things will become better right so let's let's get you in the in the right place in a good place okay now so that's been done now think about thinking again does your thinking still bother you as before no okay well that's that's a start right that's an improvement yes and you want to reinforce that with your own midline okay the midline is the midline that divide your body from left to right. And if you're on that midline, you're strong in that midline, you'll be centered, balanced, and, and stabilized, and be neutral. And it'll be a natural um, attainment for you to achieve, right? It's not something you have to spend months and years in meditating and, and whatever people do, right? What, whatever silly things people do, okay? People don't have to put in a lot of energy and time or even expense to learn to relax and learn to meditate. You don't have to do any of that, okay? So the thing that you want to do is be able to feel, perceive, and have intuition. And that has to be strong for you. Then you have insight. And your insight would be better than the normal people because normal people don't have any insight. So they wish they have it, but insight is so easy to uh, acquire. 
right? You just have to reinforce it on a regular basis that that you have insight, and you have insight when you want to have insight or need to have it. Okay, so now uh, you're not going to walk around and be a walking insight, right? So you could turn off when you want to turn off, and you get into your insight. The insight moves in a direction to tell you what has to be look at and improve. Okay, and you do that, right? So, all right, I'm going to take another call and see if. Uh, what could be done for another person, okay? 202. Okay, 202. Hello? Okay, 202, you're on? Hello? Hi. Hello? Hi, I'm here. Hi. So tell me what's going on. How are you? I'm good. I have a, I have a lot of pain in my body, and it's really awful. And um, I, I, I'm trying to actually do a lot of things, but uh, I, my body's not letting me. Okay, so it's not I, about... I some things see, that works. Uh, it's not about doing a lot of things. You just have to do a few right things. And and those right things you do is very really short. You just do it for a second or two, and that's it, right? Now, right now, you have pain throughout your body, right? Yeah, a lot. Okay, now let's look at that situation. See, you think it's a physical pain because... It, it's been, you know, expressed in your body, but it's really a mental pain. So let's remove your mind out of your body, and let's improve your situation by ensure that you delete all your mental thinking pain and all the psychological pain that you have, and also the spiritual pain that affected by your mind. Okay, and your spirit is come back and haunt your mind and actually affect your mind in a negative way. So we just want to delete all that. Okay. And um, you also have a fear of losing even your pain. Now, you lose your pain, it bothers you because you have weakness in, in having fear of losing other things. All right. so, so let's remove that. Fear is just a word that I put in. So you, you just kind of feel uncomfortable when you have to lose things, okay? including your pain. Okay, now, how's your overall pain throughout your body seem to you at this point, this moment? Right now, it's, it's still there. Okay, that's fine. It's the same as before? Right. Is it the same or different? Different. Well, but then I can still feel like okay. something's holding. So it's different, then you move in the right direction, right? Now, sometimes yes. when you do one thing, it changes everything, right? Sometimes you have to do more than one thing, right? So now looking at your situation again, um, I would say your body in your particular uh, scenario is that your body is capturing your mind so much that it has difficulty letting go of the mind's influences on your body. And it's painful to, yeah. it's painful to let go of it and it's painful to keep it. Okay, so that's, and you have other things in your life. It's, pain, it's painful for you to keep it and painful for you to um, get rid of it. So, so that's, Let's make sure it doesn't matter, right? You keep it fine, you don't, that's fine, okay? So it's your choice, you are in charge, okay? Now, how's your body pain now? Better. Okay, well, you move in the direction and it's getting better, right? See, the trouble is that when you get better, it triggers you the opposite when you didn't get better, okay? And when you didn't get better, that's painful, right? So let's remove your experience of not getting better, that was painful for you. Okay, now that's gone. Okay, how's your body seem to you now? It seems better. Well, that's good. Now, for that to continue to get better, you have to tend and untend. Right? You heard me say that when people have pain, the natural tendency, the human tendency, is to try to relax themselves out of it and numb themselves out of it, but actually they capture more of that pain, and that pain comes and goes. Okay, so it's better you be tough with your body by tensing it, untense it. I don't mean tough in a in a strenuous way. You know, you want your body to tense and untense like your heart, right? That's not much to expect, right? So keep doing that, okay? So so you got improvement. Okay, how, how much is a, a personal session? Well, with go on, go on my website, youandmethod.com, okay? And uh, if you want to pay for a session you will have a more complete uh, undivided attention for me, okay? So, but you know, you don't have to do it now. 
Okay, let me take another person. So if you thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so if you connect with this program, you will improve. All right. So I mean, my suggestion that everyone in the world should at least have one private consultation with me. All right. If you could afford it, you should have one. All right. Because it would be more complete. Because I only spend a few minutes with you, whereas you know, with a private consultation, we will spend more time. Okay. So let me take another caller. 713. Okay, 713, you're on. Yes, I feel anxiety. I uh, feel like I have a lack of ability to take care of myself, either financially or physically, okay. my own safety. Well, you know, if you have that kind of um, perception or interpretation of where you're at, yeah, it's hard to live your life, right? So you agree to that, right? Yeah. So, so I, let's look at that situation. Okay, so let's look at that situation, and it's really start off in your particular case is the uncertainty. Okay, so you have uncertainty for thousands of years in your spirit that have to come out of your spirit. Okay, so if you try to be spiritual, you will connect with all those experiences which kind of uncertain, right? So spiritual is uncertain anyway. If you listen to spiritual teaching, or they give you uncertainty, right? They just want you to accept what they say, but there's nothing behind it to, to actually change your life situation. So now look at the situation again. Um, the next thing is that you have a weakness to your, your body and your physical surrounding. So let's make you strong to your body in general, and also what surrounds you in your physical surrounding, or the energy that surrounds your physical surrounding, or the energy in your home, the energy in your bedroom, the energy that where you went to school, I mean that could be you know when you were a kid, right? So it's not like right now or or last or yesterday, right? So now other things would be what you think of yourself. So let's remove your thinking, right? That's why thinking, mental thinking, is totally useless. Right? You want to have brain thinking, right? And not mix up the brain with your mind and mind with your brain. So let's get your mind totally off your body. Off the molecules and atoms of your body, okay? Because that's the weakness there, and inside the cells and okay. and other places. Now, with that said, compared to before, now where you at? It's the same or different? Uh, different. I feel humor. Okay. Well, that's good. I kind of feel like like it just felt. I, I laughed a little bit when you said get my mind out of my body. That just felt like a relief. Well. That's a relief for everybody, every human being, right? And also for other, you know, living creatures, because the human put the human mind onto onto their pets, right? Which is ridiculous. And anytime uh, you know a pet gets sick, it's really the human's mind is in it. So let's ensure your future will be strong for you to go to, and uh, and then your past. Uh, Uncertainty about your future will have no effect on you. Okay, so is that better? Yep. So it's well. The only I feel a relief in all areas except for my ability to provide for myself financially. I still feel down there. Okay. No, that's come from your ancestors. Okay. In your particular case, it came from your ancestors. Your ancestors did that to other people. That your ancestors to make sure they couldn't provide themselves. Right. So especially their enemies. Right. So they did that to the enemy, it's still a karma, okay? So let's resolve your answers to karma and also the people on the receiving end of it, okay? Now, what do you think about your financial situation? Uh, I feel more grounded, like I good, can take good. chances right. and trust and things. I mean, you're surrounded by money, right? All you do is just reach for it, it's just like air, right? You just breathe, that's it. <laughs> That's making you strong for that, right? You're surrounded by money. How could you yeah. be lacking money, right? You're lacking money because yeah. in your particular case, your ancestors make sure the enemy didn't have any money, okay? And that's a karma that that kind of affects you because your ancestors really want you to find how to resolve their karma for them, right? So they kept they kept you on the hook till you talk to me, okay? Yeah. Or you do it yourself when you know how to do it, right? So. All right, so I'm going to come to the end of my program, and um, I, I really don't want to leave, right? So, so I, I've been told that I should let you know that 
I have a clinic in September about relationships. So you want to be a relationship expert. You want to be in charge of it. Relationship doesn't mean it's just romantic relationship. It would be professional relationship. It could be relationship with your family members, relationship with your coworkers, your classmates, relationship with yourself, right? relationship with your pets. And then you want to go further, your relationship with ET, right? So high intelligent in the universe, you want to connect with them and you allow them to connect with you, or wherever they are, right? So, all right, so we have, I also, you know, formed a module that that my client or patient or student demand, right? So about relationship, right? And less aging and have more finances. You're surrounded by finances. You just have to be strong in reaching out for it, okay? When you improve others, you benefit others, you always have finances, right? And if nothing else, you refer them to me, and you can get on the program. They will give you a uh, commission to refer people to me, right? So look at that. Go to the UN method and see what you could do, okay? So thank you so much. It's great to uh, have you, and I'm looking forward to next time we connect.